where one of us is at an advanced level, the other has a lot of work to do. However, the both of us encounter similar issues we are facing. We might have heard of comments such as, just look at Singapore buses and how they maintain, or why can't we have a one standardized payment option with NSU payment? So let the admin and my Malaysian head or moderator discuss specific topics that both countries are facing and admire them. Welcome to Hashtag Debate. But it's what we do To get to the top Yeah, yeah, yeah In this episode of Hashtag Debate, DME will be an exciting topic and one of the situations currently happening in the Clan Valley area. Free Spider-Man! Woohoo! To some, it's generous. But for what causes that the Transport Authority gives free ride? To others, as a usual Singaporean mindset, the general election is coming? Haha, <laughs> don't get me started. We used to live in a sentence, there is no such thing as the word free in the world. Agree? Let's head down to today's episode and don't worry, this episode is FREE! Nearly two weeks ago, the Prime Minister of Malaysia announced the figures on all rapid KL services, trains and buses, and all KTM lines in the Clan Valley region. At the cost of 155 million ringgit to implement figures throughout the entire month, it's also to launch the opening of Putrajaya and Mati Line Phase 1. So you need a minimum of 5 ringgit on your My50, TNG and concession card to enjoy the figures of Rapid KL and KTM services in the Clan Valley. An additional 1 month of free ride and My50 pass holders that recently reload their monthly concession. Unfortunately, a few days after the free ride launch, many Malaysians were sparked by debate regarding the maintenance culture of the public transport. Buat apa kalau ada perkhidmatan percuma jikalau budaya pelenggaran tidak ada berubah? Anak in Singapore, the lack of maintenance culture and its services remains in the Clan Valley for a long time. From the escalators for the past 2 to 3 years, to 40 elevators, to being caught out by Syed Sadiq, most Malaysians still prefer to drive than public transport due to such problems. Masalah di Malaysia adalah kita suka bina projek berbilion ringgit kasih dekat kroni, projek direct nego tetapi tidak ada maintenance culture Tengok stadium Terengganu yang roboh Tengok KTM yang tak habis rosak Tengok lift-lift dekat MRT Daripada tunding jari saja, let's together build a strong maintenance culture in Malaysia Now, back to the free ride Will it happen in Singapore? The actual purpose of free rides is for citizens to ditch their vehicles and switch to public transport to reduce the traffic. In Singapore, we used to have free rides, such as during the ST15 National Day in 2015, the launch of Downtown Line 2, and free bus service under Bus Service Enhancement Program on the BSCP. Other than that, there is a free public transport ride in Singapore. Now, how do our fares contribute to the public transport? A simple answer. Some percentage of the public transport revenue will go into the maintenance. One reason that the maintenance culture of public transport in Singapore is influential is the cost of maintaining the facilities of our MRT and LRT stations and bus interchanges. Also, a tremendous success leads the best example involves safety for technicians and mechanic staff, a guideline to follow the keep up with the maintenance schedule. Because Singapore is a very tiny country, that buying a car is now equivalent to my 3-room HDB BTO flat. Singaporeans mainly depend on public transport. If the free ride for a month happens in Singapore, the revenue profit will drop. When they give you a chicken wing, they will take your whole chicken. Free ride? Confirm plus the end of the year got fair hype one ah. 
So in our culture here, there is no way to get free rides like what the Clan Valley is doing right now. But the maintenance culture of our public transport system in Singapore admires Malaysians as a great example that we do not need a free ride. All you have to do is to maintain the facility of the stations and improve your transport services. There is one thing that we can't deny, our public transport is by far the best in the world. But not until Singaporeans travel outside the country and experience the longer waiting time, but it is a norm for locals. I mean, complaining that we are the best and your public transport suck got one lah, it's a spoiled brat. Who doesn't deny that? Will we ever have a free public transport ride for a month one day? Or should free rides to occur at least during public holidays? How does it affect the revenue profit if a free ride for a month occurs? Leave your comment down below. Thank you for watching this episode of Hashtag Debate. Do leave your support by subscribing to the TIB12340 channel.